This is a video on a do-it-yourself power supply for making GANs. Uh, I built this uh, power supply here. It's real simple. It's just made out of a circuit board. You can get them online at eBay for under five dollars. And it works with any DC power source. You just plug it in and it steps down the voltage to uh, whatever you need for uh, making GANs. Now the thing I like about this power supply is that it has constant current. So here I've got it set up for 60 milliamps for this GANs batch here. And all it does is uh, step down the voltage from this AC adapter uh, and it makes whatever voltage it needs uh, to run at 60 milliamps. And uh, here's the way it works. Um, you can just press this button right here and you can see every time you press the button it shows a different function now here it's showing 0 0.07 P and that P stands for power and so that's 0 0.07 watts that's that's what it's running right now and press it one more let's see press it one more time and you'll see that the input voltage is 12.3 volts see that power supply that uh, AC adapter over there is a 12 volt 1 amp AC adapter and it uh, comes in on the input side here on the circuit board and then on the output side I got it going in these leads that goes over to the GANs and you press the button again and it shows you the output voltage now here what it's done is it's made 100 and, uh, excuse me 1.2 volts uh, if, because I asked it to to make six 60 milliamps of uh, of uh, current so that's what it did it just uh, oh there you go see it's fluctuating it goes from 1.9 to 1.2 so uh, that's the advantage of having constant current is you don't have to worry about the voltage because once you set it on the current that you want it it makes the voltage that it needs so here it is again I got it back on the uh, amps display and uh, it says 60 milliamps so I'm going to show how it'll run different kinds of uh, voltage sources like this is a, a a computer power supply that's just been modified for you know uh, making DC voltage now, now this is just a regular computer power supply and here's another one here I haven't made it yet into a computer power supply but they're fairly easy to do and I got this out of an old computer that was thrown away so you know just with a few little parts and a little little time you can put together the power supply and it doesn't cost very much so I'm just gonna unplug this and then I'm gonna plug in this unit here but before I do I'll just put it back on a voltage so you can see the the voltage here one more time there it is so that's the input voltage coming from that uh, AC adapter over there. So I'm just going to unplug this. You see, this is 12.3 volts. So I'm going to unplug this and I'm going to plug in this unit here. So this one's a little different. It's got a little different uh, input voltage, but you don't need to worry because it takes whatever input, input voltage you give it and it'll run any. This, this, this little circuit board, here's another look at it. This little circuit board will run any input voltage from 5 to 36 volts DC. Okay, so here's a, you don't even have to put it in the box. This one here is just, a, it's got a, a DC uh, power jack here on it with a pigtail. I got it at an electronics store and I just put it in the inputs and then on the output side I just put a pair of leads here and these can be connected to the GANs just with uh, alligator clips so I want to show the uh, volt the amps has not changed so I'll press this one more time and there it is it still says 60 milliamps so it's a controller it's a voltage regulator and it has the ability to do constant current and uh, so anyway 
it cost under five dollars at eBay so I thought that was pretty good because I've seen power supplies being used for making GANs that some of them they cost like up to fifty dollars but this is a do-it-yourself version that has pretty much a lot of the same functionality you can set it up for constant current or you can set it up for constant voltage if you want it, you have the choice to do either one and it's very inexpensive and it's very versatile because you can run it with uh, you know an ordinary uh, AC adapter that many of these you can find around the house and uh, or you can run it with something a little more elaborate like this computer power supply and here's another uh, AC adapter this is for a laptop it's a laptop AC adapter this one makes uh, 19.7 volts or something like that, I think. So, like I said, I could plug this in. It would do the same thing. It would step the voltage down, and it, it wouldn't matter. So, um, anyway, I just thought I would show that for people who like to make GANs and want a good power supply that uh, doesn't cost very much. And it does the important thing, which is it controls the current. That's the important thing. Okay, that's the end of the video.